welcome to our second lecture now let me mention that i am not a native english speaker but this is not going to be a barrier between me and you i have a determination to make you understand how to develop erp next applications and therefore i am going to be steady as i speak i am going to go slow i am going to make sure that i am audible and i am hopeful that you are going to get the value that you need in this course therefore as we stayed, said in our first uh, lecture, this second lecture, we are going to be setting up an environment which we are going to be using to develop APIs. So by setting up environment, I do not mean installation. I am hopeful that you have already installed your instance of ERP Next. Here you can see mine, it is ready. It is waiting for me to do the next steps. So here, what we are going to do, I am going to show you how to create your custom app. And the reason why I am going to be showing you how to create your custom app is because creating your custom app should always be the step that you take when you want to write APIs, your custom APIs on top of ERP Next. And the reason is because when you write your code outside of ERP Next, your code will be safe. Every time that the Frappe team and the ERP team, Next team writes their code and deploys a new, a new version of ERP Next, you will not be worried because your code will not be conflicting with what they have written. Your code will be on your own custom app. It will be calling functions inside of ERP Next, but it will be outside. But if you write your code on top of ERP Next files, if they make changes to those files, then most likely when you do an upgrade or an update, your version or your code is going to be overwritten by what they have written. Therefore, this is the reason why every time you want to write your own custom stuff on ERP Next, the first step should be to create a custom app. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then, after that, what we are going to do here is that we are going to take that app of ours and we are going to install it on top of a site that we already have on ERP Next. I am saying already have because I am assuming that your instance is already running, you uh, have installed a site. And because we do not need any other site, we are just going to install the app that we will create on our site. I am hopeful that I'm very clear there. I will be showing you that as we move along on this one. Then the next thing we are going to do is that I'm going to show you practically how you are going to, uh, to how, how you can check whether your app has successfully installed. There are multiple checks that you can make and just make sure that your application will run smoothly. And then after that, I am also going to introduce you very bri briefly to Post Postman, an application that we are going to be using mostly during this series. Therefore, without wasting so much or, uh, or Therefore, without spending so much more time on this explanation, let me jump in and do bench start so that I can start my my se my section my my so that I can start my instance. So I can see that my instance is running on port 3000, port, port 8003. And therefore I can just come here and reload this port 8003 and wait for it to reload. So go ahead also on your, on your machine and jump start your instance and let's carry on. Let me split my terminal here so that we are able to work on uh, side by side. We have our instance running here and we can work on this area. And the, 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 the terminal I am using here, this is Terminator. And um, the reason why I love Terminator is because I am able to split it into so many sections. It is, it is limitless. I can sp split it into so many sections and do my thing comfortably within the same screen. Let me increase font here so that you're able to see well. And now what I'm going to do here, just note that we are logged in. When we split this window, the thing has logged us out from the ERP next user. And now we are logged in as Karani. So make sure to remember to do so, do so. And then we go back to ERP next, supply the password. And now we are logged in as ERP next. And therefore I can now go to bench and yeah, sorry, it's not ERP next. We are working with the Karani instance. And once I am there, how we create a new app is just by doing bench bench new app and then you give it a name i'm going to call it um, erp next uh, ma M -A -Stary, mastery erp next mastery you can call this whatever you want to call it it's depending on what you want to build with your app 
so i proceed this one by default gives you um the name here depending on what you have supplied here so just if you want to change this title you can just change it type it here but i'm comfortable with erp next mastery so i click next and the app description this one i'll, I'll say is just for api is for erp next api series series and then the publisher uh, the app publisher is this one is whoever is publishing the app so i can say this one is me so jeffrey karani sorry jeffrey karani is my name and then the email you supply the email here so I'll, again i'll supply my email address please don't spam that email address and then the icon don't worry about that i can just leave it for now the color I, I don't mind about that and then the license so this license here by default it is mit you can change it to whatever license you want i am comfortable with mit and then this thing is going to go ahead and start creating your uh api your, your app so that one has been done it has been created and it is successful you can see that it is, is done so the next thing that we are going to do here is to install this app on top of our site so how do you know the site that you are running now the next thing that we are going to do now is to install this app on top of our site so how are we going to do that we are going to run a command here uh, hope, hoping that you know your site you just say bench um site you have to get to supply a site here site my site is called karani and then you say install app and then you give it the name of the app that you just created and mine is erp next master so i can copy this and paste it here and if this is going to be successful you're going to see it install that app in our instance so i click on go says cannot find up here up next mastery so let's check the name of our app okay everything is in small so we do install erp next so it's erp next mastery and it is installing our app and just like that our app has been installed successfully okay so the next thing that you are going to do just to be sure make sure you check the file that is running so let me clear this one so i'll just run cl clear to clear the terminal and then i am going to cd into the sites di the sites directory so i'm going to go into sites and i'm going to list here i have here i have a site called karani and then what i'm going to do here is And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cd into the sites directory. And when I list this, you're going to see that I have a site here called Karani. So if you want to know whether your app has installed successfully, check inside this app, this, this file called apps.txt. So I can just cut into apps.txt. And I will see here that surely I have an app called ERP Next Mastery. To see a way as in gone. Let me let me do that again. And here I have ERP next mastery. All right. The next thing I am going to do now is to check this app inside of our inside of our um, our running application. So you can see that once we installed the app, our bench stops running. Let me inc uh, increase font here also. Bench stops ru stop running. It wants us to restart it. So we are going to do that right away so bench start and now we are having our, our our application starting so when you check into your site when i reload let me check first of all before before i go there go to help and check about and you will see here that erp next mastery has been installed successfully on our application so let's go ahead and start our bench bench start and we can see our bench starting there Make sure you do the same. Make sure you check bench to make sure it is running. And then when you come back to your application, 
when you check click on help and click on about you should see your erp next mastery application has been installed successfully now this is going to bear your name so if you called your your your, your application abc make sure to see abc here the other thing that I'm, I, I, I need to mention here is when you are doing this, make sure that your application is has developer mode set to true. So make sure that your developer mode is active. And how you do that, go to your application. Let me show you from the terminal. Let me shrink that. And you from your site, you can see D into your site. So I'll go to Karani. You can use that directory. You will see a file called siteconfig.json. So if you vim into that, that 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 file, you should have this file, this line of code, developer mode set to one. If it is here and sent to zero, please make sure it is set to one. If it is not there entirely, just add the file and you'll be fine. So let me just exit here. And the next thing that I would like you to introduce you to is Postman. If you do not have Postman installed on your machine, install it now or you can use any other uh, API testing application that you you like. Other people will like Insomnia and others, it's up to you, up to you. Others have applications that they like, there's a, there's a plugin for Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever you want, but I will personally in this course be using Postman to test our APIs. Having said that, let me head, go, let me head into our application and I reload here. This is the application that is running and here we'll see that we have a new directory called ERP Next Mastery. Again, I think I will have to increase font here for the sake of your eyes. We have a directory ERP Next Mastery and when you open this directory, we have another a directory called ERP Next Mastery and this is what is our module. So anytime you install a new app, it creates a module called with bearing the name of that app. So the ERP Next Mastery inside of the name of our app is the module that we are going to be running if you open that module you'll find that we have a couple of folders here like for instance a public folder contains the css and the js that the application will be running on and any other files that you we may want to put here i'll be going into the details of this these files later in the course and then here before we leave i want to mention very briefly the hooks.py file because it is very very important that i mention this to you of course it has the details of our app and then we have so many other things that are that, that are here we are going to be exploring this file as we move along there is a lot that we are going to be doing here because this is the file that we are going to be using to be to call other things or to trigger things when other actions have taken place so here we have our api.p uh, our hooks.py file and the next thing that i would like to do before we close this this video is to create our api file all right because we are getting our environment ready remember so on the direct or on the place where you have uh, hooks.py you can just go ahead and right click on this and create a new file i don't know whether i'll be able to see if you can call it api api.py i like to carry that of course i've been being told i do not have permissions to write there because this this um, Visual Studio is logged in is opened by the, uh, the the root user. You need to open it as uh, as ERP Next user. Or because we are developers, what we are going to do, we are going to go here, go back, uh, go back, and then CD into apps. Sorry, go back again. Make sure you are the this directory. Clear this. I want to make sure you are seeing this. So it's CD into apps and then go to our erp next mastery app and then you can list cd again into erp next mastery uh, when you list here you see that here this is where we have our hooks.py so i can just go ahead now and use the sudo uh, command to create so i'll do sudo touch and then api.py all right and then I enter and now that file has been created for me. So when I come back to Visual Studio Code, I'll find that here I have a file called api.py. So to make sure that we have permissions to write on this file, because right now if I just do import Frappe, this is the, the first thing we are going to be doing. Again, I will not be allowed to save it. To make sure that I do not have these problems in the future, let me just change the permissions of this file. So I'll do sudo um, change the mode to 777 for api.py file okay so this this file now has been opened i can write it comfortably i can save and you see i do not get any error
I'm going to stop here. So this is where we are going to be starting to write our code now. Then so in the next section, that is um, lesson number three, what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be creating our first API. Thank you so much and see you in the next lecture.